Hi there, welcome to No Answers Whiskey. My name is Vim PF and today we're going to be covering a scotch for a change and we're going to be checking out the Talisca 18. Now this is something a little bit special for me. I've, uh, I've only tried the Talisca 18 a few times. Um, I've been a big fan of Talisca in the past but I've never quite stretched to a bottle myself. This particular sample size came from a whiskey friend of mine called Chris Allen, who has a YouTube channel, but unfortunately he's been a bit inactive. His job precludes him from doing more content, but he actually sent me this sample to celebrate my 100 subscribers. So that tells you how long ago he sent me that. So uh, this is the last one for that celebration. So thanks to Chris. Do check out his content, even though he's not updating much anymore. He may start putting out stuff soon, you never know. But this is a Talisker. So I've only done one other Talisker on my channel so far and that was the Dark Storm, back when I had terrible audio and maybe even my sort of fifth review. It's a good watch, I'll put up the, uh, the, the click up here, so do have a look at that and have a good laugh at the early days. Uh, I'm sure I'll be cringing at even these ones in a couple of years time anyway. But onto the Talisker 18 itself, it's a Diageo malt and it's from the Isle of Skye, so an Ireland's malt. Uh, only covered a few islands so far, stuff like the Orkneys, Highland, things like that. Um, it's uh, bottled at 45.8%, just like the rest of their core range. It's a very specific ABV, but it's good to see some consistency across the brand. Diageo, like I said, so they're able to keep that consistency going. This isn't one of their classic malts. That's the Talisker 10 year old, which I haven't yet covered. So there won't be a direct comparison to that on how that affects the extra eight years. But let's go into this and uh, see what we think. Now for me, it's 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 a, it's a peated dram. It's not it's not heavy peat, but it is obvious on the nose. It's it's not medicinal either. So if you're not a fan of your Lafroys and things like that, it's not really like that. But it's not as heavy as kind of Lagavulins, but it is heavier than your Highland Parks. I'm sure uh, the majority of you would have tried Talisker before, but if you haven't, that's kind of where it sits. You know, it's a bit smokier than. Island Parks, but not as much as your Islas. I find it quite warming. It's it's a little briny. That's the kind of um, Talisker kind of staple smell and taste. That is the little briny taste, seaweedy kind of taste. But in this, in the, in the ten year old and the storm and the dark storm, that's a really prevalent kind of note that you get on the uh, on the nose. But here, it's very subtle, very understated. So if that would be a flavour that would put you off, I think this would be worth a go. I should say, it's uh, in the UK, it's roughly sort of £70. It's quite expensive for a malt, but not for an 18 year. So if you're into those kind of aged malts, it's it's roundabout priced right, I would say. £70, still a lot of money for a beginner, but, you know, I don't suppose beginners are going to be uh, running out and grabbing 18-year-old whiskies off the shelf. Let's go for a taste. Mm. Superb. It's initially kind of spicy, warming, as it said on the nose. Once you swallow, that kind of peatiness comes out. Again, it's not overpowering, it's not medicinal. It's very reminiscent, it's not even bonfire-y, it's very reminiscent of uh, of an actual peat fire. Like it, uh, for me, it brings memories of uh, holidays in Ireland where there was no TV, no heating, just a peat fire, and uh, board games, board games around a peat fire with family. If only I'd been old enough to drink at the time. I think the, the really good thing about the Talisker 18 is that its its initial profile, its initial nose, and its uh, and its initial palate aren't all it has to give. I mean, they're they're great initial notes, but there's so much subtlety behind it that only comes from a well-aged Scotch. That it's just fantastic. It's it's the perfect dram to sort of sit and analyse. You know, it's um, it's, it'd be great for drinking as a kind of relaxing whiskey, but. At that sort of price range, it's not going to be a weekly or daily sipper. This is going to be a kind of special occasions dram. 
uh, one where you can pour yourself a decent measure and spend a couple of hours just uh, just really just smelling it. It's just got such a great nose. Ah, oh, really superb. Mm. Now, in terms of finishing, it's not the longest, but it's it's close. You know, it's kind of medium long, medium long long. It's smoky, just a touch smoky, touch peaty. More of that saltiness coming through. Not it's not bitter, but salty. Mm. I think you can tell I'm a bit of a fan of that. It's uh, it's pretty good. And I think if you are kind of branching out of that beginner kind of era and you've got some money, it's one of those ones where you've got to try it. I mean, I know I haven't covered the Talisker 10 year yet, but if, you, if you're not sure about Talisker, it's definitely worth trying either the Storm or the 10 first before you plump out for something like this, because I can't think of anything worse than recommending a £70 whiskey and you're not liking it. But if you're a fan of the Talisker 10, fan of the Talisker Storm, and you're not sure if this is something that you should plump for, I would say definitely go for it. There's uh, there's a lot to be had from that. Very subtle, and I'm sure that will improve as the bottle goes down. No end. Bit of oxidation gives uh, kind of whiskies like that. I've, I don't add water, but I did read online that this is uh, it, it's capable of taking a bit of water, but it's quite fragile, so uh, I wouldn't recommend that. That's just from what I've read. I haven't tried it myself. I don't typically add water, but there you go. Well, thanks for watching the Talisker 18 year old video. Please do subscribe to the channel somewhere up here. And of course, click to watch more stuff. Don't forget to check out the description below. There's lots of links down there that you should find interesting. And again, thank you for watching.